Many women today would really love to be able to wait until marriage before being intimate with a man, even today in 2024. But many women also believe that that's not really realistic, that a man would not choose to stick around that long. And in this video, we're going to talk about what the real truth is behind that. Hello, my name is Zach Rohde, and I am here to lead you into creating the relationship of your dreams by learning how to inspire a man to cherish you. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, make sure you do that below. Click the notification bell as well to get further notices about future videos that I put out so you can watch those right away. Be sure to like this video because I'm going to make it a great video for you. All right, let's begin. So first of all, waiting until marriage to be intimate with a man. Why would anyone want to do that? Why forego all of that pleasure? Well, maybe this isn't for every woman, but for many women, or certainly some women, that is what you want. And the reason why is because, number one, you want to be fully claimed in every way possible, have that full commitment that is truly there. It's one thing for a man to say it. It's another thing for him to put actions to his words and actually deliver that commitment through marriage. So having that commitment before sexually submitting to him and then avoiding pregnancy. That's a pretty good reason to avoid sex before marriage. And just the religious reasons for it. Some women are religious and want this. Others are not. And they still want to wait until marriage. Many women believe that that's just really not possible in 2024. That men are just going to give up on them and find a woman who is easier. Unless maybe he's like a fundamentalist Christian and he would stick around. So I certainly had that mindset earlier on in my life before I had met my wife. I was a player. I had met many women, have sex with them relatively early. It's not a lifestyle that I support in any way. I believe that now that's hurtful for women. It's not a good thing. It's not a devotional thing for a man to do. What I will say, you know, I've met hundreds of women. I've dated hundreds of women. What I will say is that if any of those women had chosen not to have sex with me, I wouldn't have stuck around other than probably my wife. But the thing is, I didn't stick around anyway. So the only woman that I would have stuck around with is the woman that I stuck with anyway and chose to marry. It is true. It is absolutely true that if a woman chooses to only be intimate for marriage, most men will not stick around because you were not the right woman for him anyway. And that doesn't mean that he wouldn't have gotten in a relationship with you. Maybe he would have, but he wasn't liking you enough. He didn't see your value enough to be willing to stick around until marriage. That's number one. The right man will stay. You will. Even a man whore or a, a former man whore like myself, <laughs> I would have stayed. But there's some conditions to this that we got to discuss to fully make sense of this. The second piece of this is if you don't have much self-worth, if you don't really see your value, you don't really see how amazing you are, you're not understanding how to be in your feminine energy, you don't know how to fully receive, you don't know how to communicate your needs and feelings Maybe you hide them instead behind judgments or just not really saying anything. Then it's possible that basically no man will want to stick around until marriage because they can't feel your worth. The thing is, the higher that your feminine self-worth is, the more that a man will be willing to forego sex temporarily until he's chosen to marry you, until there's that full commitment. The lower your self-worth is, the less that a man's going to be able to feel that strong draw towards you. And there's just no reason to stick around because he can't feel that connection, much of that connection. He can't feel much of that drive. So that's number two. But then there's number three. And this is really important. It matters a lot how you communicate your desire or your need to wait until marriage. While there is a way... I believe that I would have waited to be intimate with my wife before marriage if she had said like, hey, Zach, you know, I don't have sex until marriage. Just don't do that. And she kind of sets this firm boundary that would not have inspired me in any way to wait until marriage. And what I probably would have done at the time, and I'm just being fully honest, is I would have either said, you know, this isn't worth it. 
I'm going to go find another woman who's just more open to sex before marriage. Or I would have slowly but surely kind of pushed her boundaries, not by violating them, like not forcing myself on her, but just wearing her down over time by being really fun, by being really attractive to the point where she's just turned on enough that she doesn't, it's like, I just kind of give up. We'll just have sex. Many women have experienced that before. Just so you understand, back then I didn't really see a problem with that. And that's because I didn't understand, first of all, a man's role to fully protect a woman, even from himself. And number two, I didn't understand how to lead a woman into being fully vulnerable with him and fully trusting him where a woman's not setting boundaries with him in any kind of way. Instead, he's inspired to set boundaries for himself to protect her heart. When a woman is in her self-worth, when she's in her feminine self-worth, she doesn't need to set boundaries with a man. There's going to be some men where she's always going to have to set boundaries because they're just not devotional like sociopaths, for example, or narcissists. Doesn't matter how vulnerable a woman is, doesn't matter how much she shares her heart, those men are going to violate and push through those boundaries because they just don't care. But the question is, do you really want to date one of those men? <laughs> or do you want to wait till marriage or be with a man in general like that for any reason? No, you don't. Of course you don't. The only reason you have to set a boundary with one of those people is maybe if you're a coworker or something or a mother-in-law or father-in-law or something, and you have to interact with them to some capacity, but you're not going to choose that person as a partner unless you completely lack self-worth. You're going to choose a partner who can be inspired into protecting your heart, not just from other people, not just from other men, not just from reactive people out in the world, but protect your heart from himself from his own lack of integrity, from his own bad decisions, from his own reactivity. So if your need, or even going deeper than the need, like your feeling is, you feel so much anxiety sleeping with a man out of marriage, totally legitimate. So your need that you've connected with is like you need that full commitment. You need to know that your heart is fully safe, that you're not going to be abandoned and whatever else might be part of that need as well. But the idea of pushing through that need in some way is you're going to feel really anxious. So that's basically what you need to share with them. You need to use feminine communication to communicate what is coming up for you and why and you need to do it in a truly vulnerable way where you are connected in your body to that anxiety or to whatever those feelings are and if you do that properly and the way that I teach it is going to inspire a good man even if he's a good man he's going to want sex and there's going to be some men there will be some men especially religious men who genuinely want to wait till marriage to have sex for themselves not even about you. It's like that's their boundary for themselves. And if so, great. Most men are not going to be like that. They're going to want to have sex before marriage. But what a woman can do is you can be so vulnerable. You can be so respectful. You can be so inspiring that you inspire him to want to wait because it feels so good to be in that hero role. I'm going to call it the hero role of protecting your heart from himself from his own horniness, so to speak. And then he sets this boundary. And even though, yes, he wants sex. And even though, yes, he is horny, he feels good. He feels like a knight in shining armor, like protecting his princess from harm. And then it's so easy, uh, easier to hold that boundary for you both because he's choosing it. He's choosing that boundary for himself to protect you instead of you setting the boundary and then he's choosing to comply with that boundary. He's actually submitting to that boundary, not to protect you, but because like, well, she set a boundary. What am I supposed to do about it? Completely different energy. And if you do it by setting a boundary, a lot of men are just going to kind of wear you down, whether they're doing it consciously or unconsciously, because it's not their boundary. It's your boundary. And I'm not saying that's right. I don't justify that. I don't justify my own past behavior. But I am saying that is what happens. And because you will probably be horny at times as well, you'll probably eventually want to give in sooner or later because he's not able to be that stronger force of holding that boundary for you both. And the only way that this is going to happen, if this is something that you want, is to learn how to shift into your feminine self-worth 
how to communicate that self-worth in a vulnerable and respectful way using feminine communication. When you do this, you never have to set a boundary again, not just about this, but about anything with a man. You just have to learn how to share your heart and a man steps up to protect your heart, to lead you both in a way where your needs are going to be honored, where you're going to be taken care of, and he's going to feel good about doing it. So that's what we do in our academy program for women, where we will not just teach you all of this, but we will actually practice this communication with you. We will help lead you into understanding your needs and communicating your needs with us and with everybody and give you all the feedback that you need until you get to the point where a man is fully taking care of you and you don't need a coach anymore. It's also what we do in our masterclass that we run every few weeks, usually at least once a month. That one will be coming up as well. If you haven't attended one of our masterclasses yet, it's kind of like getting the inside scoop of what we do in our academy program. We show you how to communicate in this way. We talk about why it works. We help you understand what a man needs and we show you how to meet a man's needs by basically meeting your own needs, by learning how to honor your heart, which most women have not been taught how to do properly. We also have our free dating webinar for single women. All of those links are in the description below this video. Certainly you can book a call with me if you're interested in working with us. Otherwise, go to the free webinar or book a spot for the masterclass so that you can start learning more about this, learning how to shift your control patterns and learn how to inspire a man into cherishing you in the way that you need and deserve as a woman. That's it for this one.